Bienvenidos una vez más <coughs> Otra vez A Life is Strange Tiene un muy buen rato que no he jugado Ey, 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 ey. No, espera, espera, espera Sí, ya, 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 ya yo Este capítulo sí. Nos quedamos en algo muy interesante en el capítulo pasado Al final de Chaos Theory Previously on Life is Strange Wow Sí, 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 ya sé, ya sé. ¿No me lo puedo saltar? ¿Me lo salté? Sí. Se sí, tiene que en el pasado, el presente y el futuro. Dije bien. Sí, en el pasado. Estamos en el... No, espera, ya no estamos en el pasado. Estamos en el presente alternativo. Eso le pasa a Chloe por andar... A Chloe, a Max por andar jugando con el tiempo. De amiga. En serio, tenía mucho que no grababa Life is Strange. He estado grabando más. Este, Príncipe de Persia. Y otras cosas. Isaac también. <coughs> Como tenía muchos capítulos acumulados de Life is Strange, por eso no había grabado. Qué raro que esta vez empiece con una canción así tranquilita, con pura guitarra. Espero que esta guitarrita no tenga <ríe> copyright, porque ya he demasiado copyright en, en fin, bueno, reclamaciones de copyright con estos videos. Capítulo 4 Dark Room. Uh, Oh, sí, ya vamos a terminar el juego Jejeje. Bueno, que me, Si me aviento entre 3 Y 4 videos Por capítulo me Faltan como 8 capítulos Más o menos para que termine Más o menos Seguramente en el último capítulo hay Cosas más Interesantes y Igual hago un capítulo más largo para el final final. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. That's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. But the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Sí, con las ballenas encalladas. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. Ay, qué feo. <laughs> Pobre You're Chloe. a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay accident. to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just... Happy I did get to see you again. 
Pobre Max. It could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Nature? It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. Rara se ve I don't think so. Azul. Um, <coughs> my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Pero entonces no puedo mover ni las manos para mover la la silla. Porque si no, esos controles con la cabeza están muy feos. Porque sé que se puede controlar con la cabeza, he visto esos aparatos antes. Digo, no en vivo ni en directo, sino en videos y fotos y cosas así. Pero si hay de ser horrible estar en una silla de ruedas y solo poder mover tu cabeza. Ya está más de los que hablar. Bien, aquí lo dejamos. Ah. <ríe> no, ¿verdad? Apenas llevamos el intro del capítulo y ya lo quiero dejar. ¿Y ese no era el...? Es un pretty high-tech layer. Feels like a high-tech... ¿El garage? But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Fuck, dude. <laughs> oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Snow globes are taking over. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Es que horrible. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Sí, es tu culpa. Aquí no está el agua, no puedo salir entonces. Ah, yo estoy bucal. Wow, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high tech help. Mm. Puedo ver la computadora. Chloe is still a punk at heart, but she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Se llama Miss Blue porque quería el cabello azul. Eh. ¿Dónde está el agua? Ah, agua. Drink up, Buttercup. 
Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, <laughs> I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. You're right. I wish I could take us all the way back there again. Wish I could build us a DeLorean. Huh. Oh, well, um, with your scientific mind, you might do that. But time travel can screw things up, too. Plus, he'd have to be my living assistant to help me build a machine. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. <laughs> You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Neta, la cara de deprimida que tiene. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. <laughs> They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. Hmm. Can they pay all the bills? <laughs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Fuck. You're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. ¿Qué ahora debo poner la película? Cajón. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Poder pirata. Okay, entonces como le doy el reproductor de DVD. So, here's the DVD player. Now I just need to find the DVD. Ah, here's the DVD. Que no ven Blu-ray. Ay, comezón. Ay, qué feo. Imagínate que Clay tenga comezón en la nariz o algo así. Imagínate, tener toda esa culpa y tener que aguantarte ver una película en lugar de tratar de arreglarlo. Qué raro. Creo que la que se quedó dormida fue otra. Ay, ese sonido de reloj es tan horrible. Me 
I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? Crashed? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. <laughs> Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but <laughs> being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Huh. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. $12,000. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> It's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Chloe. I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed. But she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Por esta Chloe sí, por la otra, no tanto. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I... I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But... but we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? No? Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Rachel Amber. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Pasará. Yeah, salir. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Victoria? A ver qué hay aquí. 
Sí, no hay tiempo para responder, no podemos ver, tengo que hacer nada, no Ese tono. Lo mismo. Victoria, Nathan, Taylor, Nathan. La Max estás en el cuarto oscuro. Revelando. Pues es este. Este capítulo se llama Dark Room. ¿Eh? Interesante. ¿En cuál corrí? Con este, ¿verdad? Con el otro regreso de tiempo. Dijo que en el baño había... A ver aquí. Nothing here. Aquí. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Y aquí. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Bueno, hasta abajo. Ay, Max, ¿qué rayos hiciste? Bueno, eh, la vamos a dejar por aquí. La dejamos en el suspenso. <ríe> Nos vemos en el siguiente capítulo. Corte.